I guess. What's up, YouTube? This is Silent E here, doing a, a deck profile on uh, my friend, my rival, my teammate, <laughs> uh, X Prodigy X. He uh, top 31, top, 30, yeah, top 32, yeah, oh, 32 at uh, Roanoke, Virginia, yeah, and uh, the regionals. And we're gonna do a deck profile on his uh, Infernities. So here we go. Let's get started. All right. It's pretty standard. Uh, my build's a little bit different because I don't play certain cards that other people do, but I'll just kind of show it to you. Uh, standard stuff, 3 HP, 3 Necromancer. 2 Stagon, uh, 1 Harris, that's the new card out of Judgment of Light. Uh, when it's sent to Grave, as long as it's not sent for a cost, you can search anything with Archfiend and name. So that's this guy in the field spell that I'll get to when I get to this spell. That's one of the new techs, YouTube, so y'all make sure to cop that. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's like amazing. Double Monk, uh, which is really, really good uh, to just go off. If you open up a uh, Monk and two spells, it's uh, you auto win. They don't have a hand trap, obviously. Uh, and then for the Greffer, oh, excuse me, Greffer and I'm going to get mad. And it's 13 monsters. Uh, for the spells, Launcher, obviously. Uh, the Field Spell, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, what this does is, as long as you have another card with Archfiend in, Archfiend in the name, so pretty much this, you can banish another Fiend and then special another copy of this anywhere, so from Hand, Decker Grey, which is amazing. Not to mention all the Fiends get a uh, Fire from the Boost, so it makes him 23, so he's harder to deal with. Yeah, cheaper uh, Transmodify. Yeah. Totally. Transmodify is like really bad. After like testing the, the deck, Modify just wasn't good, because it's only good when you have like this card and this card, unless you play the, the Tour Guides, which Tour Guides are really bad, so. Yeah, cheaper and better. Yeah. Uh, one Monster Gate, because it's the Nuts. Foolish, Rhoda, and then for the rest of the draw engine, the one day piece and the upstarts. Uh, I think I did a video on why this is better than three of these because uh, Laval Archfiend will miss timing if you draw into it off the upstart. So this, if you stack with Laval, will change is generally better. Plus, this is better to allow you to set up because you'll get an extra turn to like the stall and allows you to set up more, and it's just better. Um, these were always good games two and three because allows you to draw your side deck stuff. Plus, 37 cards is really good. Double Night Beam. I made these, but I, I wish I hadn't. I wish these were. Um, Emptinesses at the event, but they were they were fine. I mean, I guess I got rid of uh, fates and stuff, and people couldn't chain them. They were alright. And then if nothing else, you could discard them for the month. So, it's all right. and then triple MST because the deck is combo based, so you have to get, like get your place through, you have to get through back row, so. And then for the traps barrier, which is like one of the best theme cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, not two, three. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't know why people play <laughs> play two. I really don't get that at all. Like, why not play three solvers? I want to win. I, mean, I guess. That's why tell that was broken because you had three solvers. Triple break, which is really good. Uh, my favorite card, uh, Breakthrough Skill. Nobody else has played in front of these. I've seen anyone play these Breakthrough Skill. I don't know why, but this card's amazing. Because uh, people say you're always going to have Barry, but Barry's not always going to be live. Or sometimes you don't want to have to Barry somewhere. I could just, I'd could rather just Breakthrough Skill and Breakthrough Dragon than Breakthrough yeah, Barry. In this man. case, it's a better, uh, better than Phoenix Chain. Yeah, so MST can, won't, you know, stop it. Yeah, and then in the Mermel matchup, uh, if they make Dweller, and, I mean not Dweller, if they make um, Abyss Giles and... You can't get rid of it immediately, you lose. So this card is amazing because you can go special effect, they'll go Guile so you can chain it from Grave and, and turn off the Guile and win the game. Uh, double Mirror Force because people overextend. One in, bottomless, the one Compulse, and then the one Trap Stone which was amazing all day long. So many people decided to mind crushers and this Trap Stone you lose. Uh, you want side or extra? Uh, we go with side. Right. One Dark Hole because I didn't main it. Uh, it's just good. You don't like it, I don't like it game one, but game two is good when I'm going second. Uh, the Lightning, which was amazing against like spell books and stuff, because you ditch dead cards like Steigens that are in hand, and you just go off. Uh, triple Emptiness, which I wish I made, because this card in Key Beetle is amazing. Like Once you <laughs> loop out the full loop and you go Key Beetle with Barrier, it's just like, you win. Uh, Mind Drain, which I wish I hadn't sided. I wish I would have just sided like Debunks or not played these at all, because I never sided them in. Or either I won without them, or they were dead drawn and I lost because of it, but it was alright, I guess. Uh, double goes in, which never went in, but in testing it was good. Uh, MVP though was this card. DNA surgery was like the nuts. Uh, cause you can go DNA surgery, make your stuff fiends. So your dead Lavawa chains that are stuck with no materials on field, you can make them fiends and then banish them from the field spell. Just do craziness. Um, double dark bribe, which won me a game against Gravekeeper because he went Necro Valley and I negated it and uh, he lost. And trap stun, the second one, uh, cause people started more traps. And I really just trap stun to turn off everything and have the side and extra like MSTs and dust to try to hit something. Mm -hmm. I can just trap stun everything. And your go, you just go off. Yeah, exactly. Well, you can like uh, turn your emptiness on and off with the trap stun, which is really cool. Uh, extra deck. Fortune Tune, which is really good to put the Necros back in the deck and stall. <coughs> two live here. You play two live here because uh, you don't play the um, because you play the field spell. Um, on the vibe, then <coughs> this guy, which is amazing, gets uh, dragons. <laughs> Cowboy Water, which if you loop out against the there's a couple different loops you can do, but this loop against water is like you auto win. 
two Lavalvo chains, one my stroke, two Diamond Dire, which was like the nuts all day, because nobody expected me to have two. And I just like looped out against uh, I beat Eagle Swan. He has three monsters and five background. The, the fact that I had double Diamond Dire, I pushed through it all and won the game. This guy, because he's broken. This and this, because this actually comes up. I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and have it. Because there was a situation where I didn't play it and I lost because I didn't play it. So I was like, I'm going to play it. It was really good. Um, <coughs> That's pretty much the list. I mean, the only thing that I play that's different is uh, I don't play Insta Fusion, which people might know, and I don't play Trans Modifier. Uh, no Insta Fusion because it forces you to commit to the maxi. Like, once they max you, you Insta Fusion, you have to keep going, and you're just going to lose. Uh, and like I said, Trans Modifier is just really bad. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty standard for the most part, I guess. Um, all right. That's it, I guess. Yeah. Yes, that's it. Uh, all right, you two, that's the Infernities. Uh, let me know what you think. Make the deck, run it. Might win. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this, this, that's it. Comment, rate, subscribe, and check. Well, check out for more videos.